Hello guys, so finally the lollipop rom for MI3 was released and in this video I am going to show you how to install that lollipop rom on the MI3. So let's get started. All the files which I am going to use in this video will be linked in the description below so don't forget to check them out. So let's get started. For this first of all go into update our app then hit the option button over here then select select update package and then select the CWM recovery R8. Download both the recoveries R8 and R11 but R11 doesn't work through updater app so we will use CWM recovery R8. Uh, just select the CWM recovery R8 then it will say updating then it will flash the CWM recovery. After the updating is completed it will say something as reboot now. Now select reboot now and let the device reboot. So the device has rebooted successfully. Once again go into updater app and then select the option button over here and select reboot to recovery mode and just hit ok so the device will reboot into CWM that's the recovery we have installed just now after we have rebooted just go into wipe data and factory reset hit power button to select then select wipe all user data after the data is wiped go ahead and select wipe cache partition and select yes wipe cache partition now go into advanced and select wipe Dalvik cache that's the fourth option over here and hit that and select yes wipe Dalvik cache then go back and now we are going to install the android l rom so go into install zip choose zip from sd card zero that's the internal storage over here select the android l rom zip that's the lollipop rom over here which you have downloaded from the link in the description select that that's uh, this is the rom for me and then hit power button once again and select system1 as this rom does not support dual boot as of now as it's clearly mentioned on the post select system1 and select yes install android l zip now the android l zip will be installed so the rom has been installed it will say something as root access is possibly lost fixed then just select no as of now then once again select choose zip from sd card and select zero and then go ahead and select the gaps package that's the android l gaps package and select system one once again and select yes install gaps once again it will say as root access possibly lost just select no if you are watching this video after two three weeks then it it's quite possible that you will not see something as root access is not possible that issue might be fixed in the new updates but as of now that issue is not fixed so you will see that now hit back and just select reboot system now uh, select no over here now the device will reboot into android l rom so as you can see over here we have successfully booted into the lollipop rom and the first boot may take up to 5 minutes so do not worry just wait so as you can see over here we have booted into the rom i used this rom for a single day on the thread it says auto random reboots and some of the guys faced a very brutal random reboots but for me i used this rom for a single day and there, there were uh, almost 2 to 3 random reboots which can be fixed too for that you will need an application from the play store uh, that you can download that's the application name is wakelock power manager just install that after installation open it up and just select select partial wake lock this will prevent the phone from going into deep sleep mode and the cpu will be active all the time this will completely fix the random reboots but uh, you will have to sacrifice a little bit on the battery life as the battery life will be affected by this battery life won't be affected on a huge scale but it will be affected a little bit so let's go ahead and take a look how the lollipop looks on the mi3 
so the camera quality as you can see over here is good there are no issues even you can record videos with the third party camera app from the play store the video so the video recording is working so as you can see over here the rom is uh, very smooth i used the rom for a single day and the rom was very smooth the performance of the rom is very smooth in the coming builds i hope the random reboot issue will be solved and uh, nfc is not working as of now but that's not an issue because very few of us use uh, nfc so the rom is working flawlessly there are no issues whatsoever except the random reboots as of now by the time you are watching this video this issue might be fixed so don't forget to check the description for more details and uh, the rom is not pre rooted if you want to root this rom then i will give the link of a guide in the description below so don't forget to check that out i haven't personally tried that so it's up to you to try it or not so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to check my other videos on the Xiaomi Mi 3 and many more videos which will come on the Lollipop 2 so thank you guys thank you